Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, and we're at Playgirls um, on Soy Bacow, which is its second anniversary. And we're going to have a, basically an impromptu chat to uh, the owner, Carlos, and his brother Isaac. Um, I didn't bring a microphone, but you can still hear what, what's being said. But uh, it's an interesting chat. Listen to what they have to say. And we'll have a look at the uh, staff as well. So you've been going two years. Two years yeah. now, yeah. That's absolutely brilliant. Really, you must be so happy. You yeah, it's really been must. good. It's been good. A lot yeah. of hard work and a lot of changes yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 It's been good. Yeah. And just at the start, learning the business and learning the know-how and everything, that was the hardest thing. But now, of course, it's, of course, yeah. now it's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got the girls now. And then once you get the name and the reputation, the girls come. You know, okay. before you had to go okay. through agency yes. and stuff like that, now we don't have any. Oh, you don't have agency now, agency. now you have girls working for you. We have girls working for us. Well, that's great. Isn't we've it? got like six different levels of girls. We've got like supermodel X girls, supermodel girls, model X girls, model girls. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 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 great. Well, wonderful. But it's been good. The, the doorman said you weren't open until nine or so. Is that because yeah, of no, this? because of this, yeah, right. yeah. Right, because right. of the way. Because they're putting in the new lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on Monday we've got the anniversary. That's what I. I know you have. About, so I know. I know that. that. That'll be crazy. So we've got <laughs> two Playboy actual Playboy models from Bangkok right. coming down. Okay. And then we've got ten girls like that are models that work in clubs in Bangkok coming down. Mm -hmm. And then we'll probably have about eighty or ninety of our girls. Here. Right. So. Right. That'll be good. And we've got midgets. We've got midgets. Oh, we've got <laughs> midget dancing girls. Midget, no, no. Yeah, two midget girls. So they come up oh, and really? show. All right. And then we've got <laughs> we've got um, magicians, violinist, um, yeah. saxophonist. The violinist won in Thailand's Got Talent one year for playing the violin. So she's yeah, coming yeah. to do a show. So it's just going to be a night full fully packed with like shows, performances yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Plus we got like the shows that we do like the fire eating and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we're the only place in Thailand at the moment that does that, like as a go-go bar and stuff. Well, I'm sure you are, okay. I've never yeah. seen, I mean, the, all, all the other bars on walking streets now, okay, they don't do shows. No, they don't. I because mean, it's so hard to prepare. They used to, years ago, there were yeah. certain places that used to do shows. Yeah. You know, but uh, that, there was one on the side, you've seen, I forget the name of it. But that uh, was... Imagine, so imagine, but now it's closed yeah. down. Yeah, that's right. Closed I used down, to go yeah. there as well. That's right. Um, but like, because it's so expensive, and it's so difficult to do, that's why no one does it. Like, I spoke to my, my girlfriend the other day, and I said, I looked at the uniform, what we've been spending on uniforms, spent like 50,000 baht on uniforms just in one week. I'm like, oh. oh my God. But it's okay, the customers come in, they enjoy it, they get to, instead of just coming in, watching girls dance in the hall, they see a show, they see a performance, yeah, something yeah, that yeah. they can go home and say, oh, I remember going to play girls, I saw a girl eat fire, or I remember going to play girls, I saw a girl do pole dancing, or something like that. Which is really good. Yeah, great. Yeah. How's your music going? Been good. <laughs> I started making my own music. Making your own? Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, he's doing some producing now, so he's really? making music. Is great. And everything. Great, great. Which has been good. But you have things like twerking and this and that. That's yeah, so, that's so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday we have party nights. So we have like right. uh, Sin City party on Monday. Right, and that's more like a mafia style party. They do a special show, and like all the girls are in like, um, you know, like a lace type of mafia style uh, outfit. And then twerk Tuesdays is a really good one. It's like a hip hop night. So right. that's probably taken off the most since I since I've um, started that. That's probably the one that's actually drawn the most attention. So all the girls do like a, a hip hop show, and all the music all nights all hip hop music. So a lot of people like that. Where yeah. like uh, some of the older guys and stuff like that, they don't like that. They no. like what how it normally is. But I do that one night a week, so that the other younger guys and stuff like that that want to hear that music, um, they enjoy it. And then also the girls don't get bored of working here. Yes, of course. Some of the girls get bored working in the same venue, you know, same music all the time. Yeah, you see that. I mean, yeah. you, you see that the way they just dance yeah, all, like like a robot. Yeah, you know? 100%. yeah. yeah. And then we've got um, a masquerade party that we have <laughs> every Wednesday. So that's one night stand Wednesdays. Masquerade party. Yeah, so What's all the that? girls wear masks, all the staff wear masks. Oh, right. Um, which, that's pretty good as well. It's something different right. than other places right. don't do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on Thursdays, after our anniversary, we're going to turn in Thursdays to an 80s night. So all 80s music. All right. Because right. no one's, I don't really see anyone doing it properly anywhere. No. And I, and I think like the, the crowd in Paddy, they'll like that. 
Mm. And Isaac's got the music and stuff like that. He knows how to do it properly. And yes. We'll have yeah. all the decorations. We just ordered like over 100 disco balls. So the whole ceiling is all going to be full of disco balls and all, <laughs> all of the uniforms and stuff like that. From the 80s? Yeah, from the yeah, 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. It's something different because I think if you just have the same thing every night, you get bored of it. Of course you do. Yeah, Especially yeah. for the people that live here. Like, they want to go out, but they just see the same thing every night. They probably get bored, yeah. you know? You've got lots of ideas, haven't you? I mean, yeah. you always have. The, the only thing is we're a little bit limited to our space down here. So upstairs here, we're at the moment, we're knocking down the walls and oh, everything. Because right. we've got, we got uh, two buildings and we've got bedrooms up there now. So we're going to knock that out and we're going to do a second floor. Yeah. And the second floor is going to be like a totally different concept. Totally different concept. Different it will be a go-go, a, a, a it'll be a go -go style bar. or something? It'll or? be a go-go bar, but it'll just be a different concept. Like... Okay. Um, uh, more of a chilled out type of vibe. Yeah. Right. What, you, you mean like a bit like a, a gents club type thing or a not or... A, l a little bit. Like it's going to be a private section, right? Yeah. To go up there, obviously, like you have to go up, you have to pick some girls and go up there with the girls. Mm. But not just anyone can go up there. Like, right, it'll be okay. a private VIP exclusive yeah, area. I understand, I understand. Yeah. But yeah. it'll be mixed together. So like... Yes. You, there'll be booths and stuff like that in there, yeah. but to get up there, you have to, you know, be a VIP customer and stuff. Yes, right. got you, yeah. got you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why yeah, not? because we just don't get like during high season. It was so full in here. We didn't have enough space to put customers places. So for a lot of our VIP yeah. customers, if we put them upstairs with the girls that they like, yes, they they prefer that. They yes, want their yes, own space. Yes, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I know another place that does something similar. That they have a, 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 a one day that they have a, the whole upstairs is yeah. is like a sort of special party night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so that's what I'm going to do. It's going to be a bit of like a circus circus lay um, theme up there. So. Yeah, I mean this section you've got here that that was all that's all curtained off, isn't it? Yeah. And so you there's can, all you curtains can, through. You can have a private curtains like, through here as well. Yeah. And here, so. So you can you can like rent that sort of yeah, area. Yeah, you get your own your own private area. Yeah. So pretty much in here, customers just even need to spend five thousand baht yes. or open a bottle of alcohol. Yeah. So if they if they like drinking sang or something, okay, it's cheaper. But if they yeah. just want to go in, they want to have beers or something, okay, spend five thousand baht on your bill. Yeah. Um, minimum, and you yeah. can take the VIP tables. Yeah. So, so they're doing the electric lights at the moment. Aren't yeah. They? So it's going to be like um, <laughs> these type of masks. Look for the masks. Yeah, like this, and it's going to be matrix lights. That mm -hmm. run all the way through. We're just doing the VIP area first, and then after we're going to do the whole, the whole place. Mm -hmm. We had a we had a training day yesterday with all of the staff. Yeah. And went through and taught them all of the um, different names of all the different alcohols oh. in English, and then we taught them how. Really. Yeah. We said like you know Smirnoff is drunken with what a soda, a Sprite, a Coke. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we taught them all of that. Yeah. So that I just want to really go up, 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 and be more like. Uh, I don't know, more professional. Yes. More uh, professional. I don't want customers to come in, order something, and then the staff don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. I want to invest more time in like teaching my staff to be more professional. Yeah, yeah. I understand understand English better. Yeah, yeah. The service needs to be top notch. <laughs> and you do you do Jaeger bombs with this? We're sponsored. <laughs> we're sponsored by Jaegermeister. Oh right. Um, is that what it is? Yeah. Two months ago, we were the biggest seller of Jaegermeister in the whole of Padia. How, how much do you charge for Jaeger bombs then? A Jaeger bomb is two hundred bucks. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. 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 Uh, we've got a lot. We've got the frozen machine, but yeah. from Jagerbomb takes three bottles, they yeah. come out freezing cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We only use like Red Bull, a yeah. lot of places use Lipo and stuff yes, like that. Yes, I know, yeah. Because right. we're sponsored here by Diageo, who owns Johnny Walker, um, okay. and Belvedere, so Rock. Yeah. So all of our alcohol is really good quality alcohol. Because we right. get, obviously, we get a rebate and we get like, incentives and stuff like that by being yeah. sponsored by them. Well. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. On yeah. our anniversary, Johnny Walker's coming, and they set up a booth at the front of the at the front of Playgirls, and everyone who comes in gets a free welcome drink. <laughs> so they're giving away. They've got a new uh, type of Johnny Walker out. It's called Johnny Walker Blondie, yeah. and everyone will get a free a free drink when they walk through the door. Right. Okay. And they've got their own models and uh, PR girls and stuff like that serving in. Yeah. 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 Now it'll be really good.
I mean, lots of places. Uh, girls really like tequila and tequila rose. That's one thing that they seem to push a lot. That's because uh, Jagermeister Tequila Rose in Thailand are under the same company, so we're sponsored by both of them. Right. Jagermeister and Tequila yeah. Rose. Because tequila rose is really popular. I mean, yeah. I, 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 I do some videos where the girls like catwalk up to the camera and, and say, you know, I say, what's your favourite drink? And, and so yeah. many say tequila rose, tequila, tequila rose. Yeah, we've got that here. We've got, we do the tequila rose, <coughs> we do tequila rose, Oh, tequila yeah. rose bomb, tequila rose shot, and then you buy six tequila roses for a thousand baht. You get a T-shirt, you get a free shot because we're sponsored. Uh, what? What is, is that with um, so a red red bullet? No, so that's a tequila else. bomb. So that's yeah. got Jagermeister half in it and tequila yeah. rose on the top. Oh, and nice. they put a little something in there to split it, split them both up. Very good. I'm not sure, but that's my bartender. But um, they sell well. A lot of customers like that. <laughs> Right. We do promotions as well with Jagermeister and stuff like that. Yeah. We've got the merchandise, we've got the lighters, got the necklaces and everything. So yeah. customers buy like 10 Jager bombs, they get all the merchandise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you've got plenty of customers, you've got plenty of money to spend. Yeah. You know, become like, like you're, you're a two week millionaire, you know. Well, work. a lot of the customers that come here now, they don't. I don't really have many customers complain about pricing or anything like that because we've sort of established ourselves where people know what Play Girls is. They yeah. come in, they're going to get good service, yeah. they're going to get good looking girls, yeah. they're going to get bottle service if they open yeah. a bottle. So, customers come in, they're already prepared, they already know that, you know, they're going into a venue like this and for good service and all of them things, you're going to pay the price, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and the majority it's still of customers cheaper are than, than oh, walking for sure, straight. for sure. I went, I went to Bangkok, and some of the places in Bangkok are charging 250 baht, 300 baht for a drink, a lady drink, you know? Right. Yeah, I haven't been to Bangkok for years. Yeah. yeah. You can go to some in Bangkok for being there for 10 minutes, you walk out 60,000 miles gone. I know, crazy, yeah. That's true, and that's yeah. without opening any bottles or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is bring down like a exclusive luxury type of club, but at an affordable cost as well. Like mm. from the start, like I said. Yeah, yeah. So the the idea of the upstairs will be mostly regular people who regular who live people here, you think? and customers who don't want to be downstairs because we got the shows and everything like that downstairs and some customers you know during a show will take a video or something like that some of my customers they don't want to be downstairs that's why they choose the booths and close the curtains mm -hmm. so instead of that they'll have upstairs because a lot of the time if you come in here the booths will be full we open up by nine o'clock yes. ten o'clock they're full yeah and th is that is that for the night then yeah that's for the that, night that's gone that's for, for like for a few hours yeah yeah so and a lot of customers like that, a lot of other go -Go's don't have it. They don't no, have that No, I know price. they don't, I know yeah. they don't. Very few do. Yeah, I, I, don't, I actually don't know of any uh, go go that do that. Do you, can you, I don't know, uh, can you, High Rollers is a gentleman's club, and they've got that. It's not really. Yeah, it's more of a sports club. Yeah, now, it's yeah. not really, it, it changed, it's not yeah. really. So they had a restriction, of, yeah. um, a but legal they've got, restriction. They've got the booth there, and they've got the curtains yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I don't know many other places that, that really have that. So that's why I want to do the upstairs, the upstairs um, model. I, I think that will work because a lot of my customers yeah. don't want that, and I'll have like different girls upstairs than downstairs. Well, you're offering what you offer here, but on a bigger scale. Yes, and in a different theme. Yeah. So a whole different theme, a different uh, surrounding everything. And upstairs will have its own DJ, will have its own service staff, will have its own bar, have everything. So they won't need to run downstairs and get something from downstairs. It'll all be upstairs. Yes, which will yeah, be good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, it's been a good. It's been a good two years. It's been a good two years. <laughs> I'm sure it has. I'm it's been sure tiring. There's been some headaches. Yeah, I mean, like I that. know you. You told me you don't have a day off. You don't. No. But I started, I started every Monday having a day off and going to Bangkok, but yeah. even then I go to Bangkok so I can drink and again I'm like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no. yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference? Yeah. Really? If it's you true. go to Bangkok and go to a go-go bar, what's the difference? But the thing for me is when I'm here inside Play Girls, for me, I look at it, it's a business. Right. Yeah. I don't play around with my own staff or do anything like that, like some other like bar owners yeah, and stuff like that do. Yeah. Like we've got strict rules and we stick to them rules. Mm. And like when I'm in here, it's working, you know. It's, but if I go somewhere else, I can my mind relaxes and I can I can turn off for a moment. I'm still always watching the cameras and messaging in the groups yeah. and everything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, that's good. Total, there'll be about 70 girls tonight. But some of them will start at like. So, what happens is the coyotes and PRs, they will get in at 8 o'clock. 
and then the models uh, come in at like 9.30 and then the super models, they, they start at 10 o'clock because i got to give them incentives to want to work here because there's so many places like paying high salaries and stuff like that so the incentive is they can start later and, right. um, and I mean what sort of money do they make on? What, what, what? Some of my girls go all the way up to three and a half thousand baht a day but then your average girl like a coyote or something she might make two thousand baht a day yeah so we pay high salaries but that's because we want good quality girls yeah, yeah. but you meet people from all around the world the only worst the only part about it that's a bit of a headache is the drinking because a lot of people who are here they come on holiday yeah. and we're here you know 365 days a year so yeah. when they come over they want you to drink with them drink with of them of course but i know yeah, yeah. i mean I get that. Yeah. I get a lot of people. I get emails saying, I want to meet you. If I did that with everybody, there's like oh. 90,000 people. <laughs> and you never get anything done because no, what a lot of right, people yeah. don't understand is, yeah. is that we've got our work that we do at night time, but then there's daytime work. And if I yeah. go out drinking every night, then I'll never get my daytime work done. Right. And to run the ship at night time, yeah. you've got to get the daytime stuff done. Yeah. Probably the other hard thing is dealing with people who are like very intoxicated. Yes, of course. That is, that of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Especially when I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I come in telling you what they want. They want you to play. Can you play this and that? Well, they want to have a conversation with me. Like, I want to talk too, but the music's gonna stop if I don't change yeah. the song. But usually we do. If a customer wants us to play a song or something, we will. Unless it's something ridiculous like some Russian song that no one's gonna know, or some yeah, type of yeah, yeah. some type of unique song that no one's gonna know. Yeah. I mean, if it's a song I already got, then I know I can play the song. Yeah. yeah. Then it's a song that. No, but no. Then you won't bother. No, I want something. Yeah, I might please the one person, but am I gonna please the other twenty? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. they won't be happy. No. But, I mean, what what sort of nationalities you get here now? Well, at the moment there there are a lot of Asian people. There are a lot of Japanese. Um, yeah, you'll get Japanese, Korean, Chinese are coming yeah. in now. Mm. But a lot of it, like, how do I explain it? Our trading hours. Okay, when we open at eight o'clock. Bang, we're, we're already ran, we're busy. And then that will go up until maybe 11 o'clock. And then we quiet down. Okay. And then after about 1 o'clock is when we start to get rammed again. We have two like uh, really big rushes of, of customers right. through. Right. And I reckon the early the early trading hours is more Asians and maybe Indians and stuff like that. Yeah. But the later trading hours is obviously the foreigners. A lot of the foreigners like to go out later and drink later. Right. Yeah. And because we're a little bit away from LK. They'll yes. go to LK first, have a yeah. look around, and they'll yeah. finish their night here. Right. A little time. So. And what time do you close here? Oh, we close late. <laughs> 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 we close late. We yeah, close yeah, late. yeah, 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 yeah. Until but, yeah. the old mate comes and tells us to close. That's when really? we close. Really? When the customers leave is when yeah, you close. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's I know. Because a big bad wolf comes. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's, it's good. And we've got um, we we changed our happy hour. So we used to do the forty nine baht happy hour. Yeah. But we changed it to buy one get one free. So that's right. on all beers, all like house whiskeys, uh, vodkas and stuff like that. So maybe a lot of them come in early as well because of that. Which finishes at about 9.30 I'm pretty sure. So you get an hour and a half to get in. Buy as many beers you want, buy as many drinks you want before <laughs> it goes off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. But a, a big one is the, the beer buckets as well. A lot of the people love the beer buckets. Yeah. So, beer buckets so well. So. Yeah, so uh, is that four or five beers or something? So you or? get either three or six. Okay. Three or six. But each beer bucket is only eligible for one person. So if you want to buy a beer bucket, right. it's for you alone. You know, you can't right. come in three people and buy a one beer bucket. No, 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 no. Some people have tried to do that. I'm sure they have. Uh, yeah, you yeah, get, yeah, you get a lot of smart yeah. people around here. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's good. Good. Uh, how much is a beer? A beer here. I mean, is, is it all a standard price for all your stand, regular beer? Standard price, standard price. It's so about how much? 120. About 120. That's not bad. It's not bad, that. That's the same as lots of places. Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, like I said, like our expenses are <coughs> higher than a lot of other places because of the shows and because of, you know, all the parties, the decorations and stuff like that. Like, it's like our anniversary. My girlfriend spent 50,000 baht on just balloons. <laughs> that's just for one day after right. them balloons are done they all get popped and there goes 50,000 baht but Crazy. the anniversary for me isn't really a day for me to a lot of other bars look at making money and how much can we make and stuff i look at giving back because mm. we're pretty much busy majority of days mm. it's my way of giving back to my vip customers and mm. the customers that come all the time 
I'll put on a show, I'll put on entertainment for them to enjoy themselves, yeah. you know? Like, I don't charge any entry fee or anything like that. And you have regular, regu very a regular lot. customers, I'm sure you do. Yeah. I got some customers come in almost every day. Oh every my day. Well, if they don't come in every day, it's every second I mean, day. How much do they spend a day? Yeah. Some customers spend 20, 30, 40,000 baht if they're in the VIPs. Yeah. But obviously, like, they all walk out very happy. Yeah. Especially once the curtains are closed, they yeah. enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But then, you know... But you're, you're, I mean, people are not going to do that every day. You're, you're, you're every day You'd be surprised. Some really? They've got, <laughs> they got some customers that really? are really good customers and they... Um, I don't know how they make their money or what they do for a living, but they got money and they... And the thing is, the other thing is, we take credit card here. So a lot of okay. customers, they can swipe and, you know, they get their points and stuff like that. Right. So they don't mind right. it. Right. Or they can right. put it through their business as a business expense or I don't know what they, they, they do. Like, and deal with the headaches later. Whatever they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But our average spending here is about a thousand bucks. About? A thousand bucks. The average? Oh. Our average spend, yeah. That's not bad. I mean, that's... Not bad at all. No, it's not bad because if you think about it, you it's buy a couple of drinks I mean, for yourself. It's not expensive. Buy a couple of drinks for yourself, buy a couple of drinks for a girl. Yeah. And that's it. That's right, yeah. 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 Two or three, yeah. But the, the, the thing here is our girls, they take good service of all the customers. I'm very strict. They all got to smell nice. They all got to have breath mints, mouthwash, their hair's got to be nice and straight and makeup's got to be finished. Like yeah. all of that for me yeah. is very yeah, important. Mean, almost we have month. meetings every month with that. Is. Yeah. Any girls that don't stick to it, we get you rid of them. You say goodbye. Yeah, we get rid of them. We tell them to go and work somewhere else. Yeah. Right. Because at the end of the day, the customer's always right, and um, we want our customers to come back not one time, yeah. but multiple times. We want them to keep do. coming back here because they know that, that there's no point looking anywhere anywhere else because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to get a good time here. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, that's the most important thing for me. Mm -hmm. So you don't really consider LKR walking the street to be competition? Because Not really. I think it's good. I think it's good yeah. LK walking street's good and us being here is really good because yeah. customers stop by. And at the moment like it's only us mm. that are here as a go-go bar. Mm. So they check out us first. Mm. So yeah. I think it's good. I'm in between. Like if they're on the way from LK to Walking Street, they pass by here, they, they stop in. Mm. I don't really think anyone is a competition. I think if everyone's there is busy, no competition, yeah. which is exactly the same if, as this. No, yeah. there isn't. If everyone's I agree. busy, if Huddy yeah. is busy, yeah, then everyone's gonna be busy. Yeah. So it's good for everyone. Yeah. yeah. We don't but really get there's jealous. There's no way that's the same as this. So you've got a unique place yeah. for sure. But we don't get jealous of anyone or anything. We want everyone to be busy. If if, if everyone's busy, that means Huddy is doing well. That means everyone's happy at the end of the day. Mm. Everyone needs to make money. Everyone needs to needs to um, you know live. So, we just need to make sure that we're giving the customers the good service. Yeah. There's nothing that, that irritates me more than when I see bad stuff on the news and stuff like that. I don't want to see that for Putty. I want to see Putty have you know, a good future. I want to see customers and foreigners coming back, coming back, coming back. I don't want them to be scared away or frightened away yeah, yeah, yeah. by anything bad. It's more important for the customers to enjoy it and want to come back. They want to book their next trip as soon as they leave, you know? <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that, that's what that's you want. the addiction of fashion. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's been like that for years and years and years, since we got the 1970s, 80s, it's been like that. Yeah, people get addicted to it. I think after COVID, maybe a lot of old bar owners and stuff like that, they gave up <laughs> mm. because it was going to take them so long to get back to where yeah. they were yeah. before COVID. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But that's why, you know, we, we keep trying every day. We go, I go looking around other places in the world and stuff like that to see other ideas, other things that I can take from other places and bring here. Make yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, what what, I, what I'm going to do is, uh, if it's all right with you, is uh, I mean this what this chat now I can actually put on on yeah. YouTube because I'll, I'll demonetize. Yeah. I, I won't. I, I, then it's it's all right. Yeah, know? that's fine. So I'll do that. But I, I also want to, to to stay around until you start to do the girls start dancing, sure. and I can video that as well. We'll do and that. And that can go. Or then the whole thing can go on page. Oh, right. See, so you get the two. You get both basically on Patreon, but on YouTube you just get the chat that we that. have. Let's do that. We can, we can, we can do it like Amazing. that. I'll set up the remaining of this stuff and put it away and then uh, the girls will get on the stage. And, and uh, mm. it doesn't matter about the music with regard to yeah. Patreon. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't matter, yeah. All right. There's no restrictions. We'll, we'll set up and we'll, yeah. we'll go. Yeah, yeah, we'll All right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting chat, don't you think, guys? 
Um, I'm just going to show you this little area, which was to the left side uh, where the workmen were doing the lighting before. And it's now obviously been clean. And there's music playing, but I've had to just uh, mute that. Uh, but this is the VIP area, the current VIP area, which, as you can see, can be all curtained off. Um, what uh, Carlos said, if you remember, was they're taking the upstairs and then they're going to make the upstairs into a huge VIP area, all with sections and everything. Um, and it, that's going to be fantastic um, for people who want to uh, have a little more privacy and what have you than just being downstairs. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I, <laughs> I think it's been a, it's a, a, good, a good informative uh, video, this one. You, you, you've learnt a lot. So, uh, anyway, if you wanted to see all the dancing and all the girls and everything, then you just need to go down below, click more, and then open the Patreon link. Uh, and you can see the first minute or so uh, without joining, but if you want to see everything, just join. It's only $5. It's nothing. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next video.